Okay, let's get right into it because what we're talking about today is not just some minor software update. Nope, Microsoft has just rolled out some absolutely massive changes to Copilot inside its Edge browser. And honestly, it's starting to change what a browser is even for. And look, that might sound a little dramatic, but that's a direct quote from our source material. The change really is that big. It's a bold claim for sure, but by the end of this, I think you'll see why it's not really an exaggeration. We're about to see how our browsers are evolving right in front of our eyes. So here's the big shift, right? For decades, a browser has basically been a passive window to the internet. You tell it where to go, and then you do all the work of sifting through the information. Well, that model, it's pretty much over. We are moving into an era where the browser becomes an active assistant. So what does an active assistant actually look like? Well, it means your browser stops being just a simple tool and starts becoming more of a partner. It can understand the context of what you're doing, it can pull together information from a bunch of different sources, and it can help you make decisions without you having to do all that heavy lifting. So you might be asking, how is Microsoft actually pulling this off? Well, it really comes down to three core updates to Copilot in Edge. Let's break down exactly what they are and more importantly, how they all work together. First up, we've got Copilot Mode, and this is a huge game changer for just, you know, using the browser. The second you open a new tab, you don't just get a search bar anymore. You get a full-on AI chat interface right there. You can ask it questions, you can search, you can even tell it to go to different websites. It just seamlessly blends AI chat with all the traditional browser stuff. Okay, now this. This is where the whole assistant part really comes to life. Once you give it permission, Copilot can see and understand the content across all of your open tabs. Just think about that for a second. It's not just looking at one single page, it's got this holistic view of your entire browsing session. And finally, the whole experience just becomes conversational. You can now literally talk to your browser. So instead of typing out some long, complicated question, you can just say something like, hey, Copilot, summarize all my open tabs about marketing tools. And it just gets to work. It makes the whole web feel way more natural. Okay, so those are the features, but what's the real impact? Why does this actually matter to you day to day? Let's take a look at how this all comes together to create some pretty incredible real world uses that could genuinely change how you work and browse the web. Just imagine this for a second. You're a student. You've got maybe 15 tabs open for a research paper. Instead of spending hours reading every single one, you just ask Copilot to summarize the key points. Boom. Or maybe you're shopping for a new laptop. You've got three tabs open from different stores. You can just ask, which one of these has the best price and features? And you get an answer instantly. This gets rid of that constant, tedious switching back and forth, trying to hold all that info in your head. You see, the end result of all these new AI workflows isn't just about convenience. We're talking about a massive saving in time and frankly, mental energy. For anyone who does research or even just for casual users, the potential to get back hours every single week is very, very real. But of course, this kind of power doesn't come without a few strings attached. It's super important to understand the trade-offs here and also how to get started if you decide this is for you. So let's cover the catch and then this step-by-step -step how to. And here it is, the central trade-off, laid out pretty clearly to get all this amazing power, you know, the instant summaries, the smart comparisons, that context where help, you have to give Copilot more access. It needs your permission to read your tabs and see what you're doing. There's just no way around it. More power requires more access. And there are a few other key things to keep in mind. First, and this is the big one, this is all opt-in. Microsoft puts you in the driver's seat, so you have to actively give these permissions. Second, some of this is still experimental, so you might hit a few bugs. And third, while it's free right now, don't be shocked if some of the really advanced features eventually become part of a paid service. So, if you're thinking you want to try this out for yourself, it's actually pretty straightforward. First thing, make sure your Edge browser is totally updated. Then, just dive into your settings, find the Copilot section, and flip on Copilot mode. The last and most crucial step is to give it permission to access your tabs, Without that, you won't get those super powerful cross-tab features we've been talking about. But you know, everything we've talked about so far, that's really just the beginning. The features we have now are incredible, but they're pointing toward an even more powerful future. Microsoft's big vision is for something they call agentic actions, where the AI moves from just helping you out to actively doing things for you. So what does agentic action even mean? 
Well, think of it as the leap from an AI that tells you things to an AI that does things for you. It's about giving a command and having the AI actually carry out a multi-step task inside the browser on your behalf. It goes way beyond just finding information. And what could that future actually look like? I mean, just picture telling your browser, hey, book me a table for two at that new Italian place for 7 p.m. on Friday, and it just does it. Or how about unsubscribe me from all the promotional emails I got this week? The browser stops being just a browser. It's becoming the central AI hub for managing your entire digital life. So this all brings us to a final and pretty critical question. The convenience is undeniable. The power is incredible. But as we hand over more and more tasks and grant more and more access to our digital assistants, it really forces us to think, what's the right balance between automation and our own autonomy? It's a question worth keeping in mind as this technology just keeps getting better.